What's going on guys? So today is gonna be a much quicker video because I have to be out of here by like 12. But I'm in uh, Tambor, Costa Rica. This is my last day here. I'm going back on the ferry later today and then we're gonna head over to the capital of Costa Rica, which is San Jose. Ooh, I'm kind of sad because I don't want to leave, but I want to do one last thing while I'm here and I want to bring you guys along with me while I do it. I want to go find a macaw. Macaws are some of the coolest birds ever. If I had to go rate my favorite birds, can and then the macaw, or maybe the macaw and then the toucan, but nonetheless, they're really, really cool birds and you see them all over this place. And so I really, really want to go and find a macaw and just take a photo of it with my telephoto lens just before I leave. So I've got two hours here. Let's go search for some macaws. So right as I left to go uh, find these scarlet macaws, my mic decided to die, but that's all good because I thought, well, hey, we're going to do a little bit of a post-production narration anyway, so that's all good. Um, but I wanted to give some cool facts about these macaws. There's so many cool little intricate details about these guys. I mean, besides the fact that they look incredibly stunning with their red and yellow and blue feathers, these guys have an incredible lifespan. They can live up to 50 years, and they have these massive beaks which allow them to crack open and open shells and break into really hard nuts. But those beaks also get them into a fair amount of trouble because sometimes they eat fruits which are known to be poisonous to some animals, but actually that's why we believe they eat clay. So occasionally you can see a ton of scarlet macaws down by the riverbanks, not looking for fish, but just eating chunks of clay. And we believe that they might do that in order to neutralize some of the poisons that they ingest when they have some of this poisonous fruit. Um, but yeah, they're just, they're really, really interesting birds. I was able to get some really, really cool shots of them. Check these out. I really wanted to get shots of these guys in pairs, specifically because when they're in pairs, um, they generally stick together for a long period of time, or at least I, that was the rumor that I was talking to my dad about, but I don't know if that's entirely true. Um, but I thought, well, hey, nonetheless, it would be really cool to get some uh, photos of these guys together going up and playing with each other. And so I got some really cool shots, but nonetheless, um, these guys are just gorgeous. There's so many things I find really cool about macaws, but one of them is that they stay in pairs. And I just got a video of a couple pairs, and dude, they're so cute. They're such cute animals, oh my goodness. So it is officially the last day I'm here in beautiful, beautiful Costa Rica, and um, we decided to go stay at this really, really, really cool hotel. So this place is called Studio, and if you can't tell from the massive uh, piece of artwork behind me, it's basically like an art gallery. This, this entire hotel is an art gallery. In fact, it's the second largest collection of art in the country, and it's, it's like, you stay here, you're surrounded by it, it's so cool. Like, piece of art there, even the coffee machine kind of looks like a weird piece of art. 